Yeah, Dewan and the residents here are just as confused as to how the person exited mid flight. A 40 minute recording between the two people and air traffic control showing us how they ended up having to make an emergency landing at RDU. Emergency, we've, uh, we've lost our right wheel. We'd like to proceed to Raleigh and make a landing at Raleigh. A plane with two people on board. There was two, say, home base of aircraft, persons on board. Having to make an emergency landing in Raleigh after trying to land near Rayford. Their call with air traffic control. I got it. Uh, hey, say, though, we were attempting to land. We made contact with the ground, had a hard landing, and decided to go around. And at that point, we lost the wheel. The plane arriving at Raleigh Durham International Airport. How do you intend to land at Raleigh Durham? We get as low as we can, and I guess we're going to put it on the belly. Authorities finding only one pilot on board. The body of 23 year old Charles Hugh Crooks found 20 miles away from the airport in a Fuquay Verena neighborhood. The sound heard by several residents happening in one eyewitness's backyard. I thought honestly it was somebody who was slamming a trash can lid or something because it was pretty loud. Questions on how Crooks exited remain as authorities investigate. Maybe fell or jumped, I don't know. But um, I was feeling remorseful for his family. I guess I don't know if we'll ever really know, but it's just crazy. If he jumped a second earlier, he could have been right here on my kid's play set. I mean, just a million things. And the sadness about it, right, of, of it being a 23-year-old guy who probably woke up that day, had breakfast, and was ready to go fly a plane. And so Crooks's body was found without any parachute or landing gear nearby, and the pilot who survived has been released from the hospital, and the plane that was on the runway has been moved. The airport at RDU running under normal operations. Reporting in Fuquay, Verena, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.